In this video, we're going to look at finding the length of an arc. I'm going to start off with a circle, so there's my circle. I'm going to have a center and a radius, so there's a radius. I'll put another one just here, so that's another radius. I'm going to put this point here, which is going to be A, and this point just here, which is going to be B. If we have an angle just here, theta, measured in radians, a radius and a radius and an arc length from A to B, so the minor arc of L, we can say that L, this arc length, is equal to R theta. So all we would need to do to find the arc length is simply multiply the radius by the size of the angle when the angle is in radians. It's that straightforward. Okay, let's just have a look at how this works. What I'm going to do is go back to using degrees and I'm going to draw a circle just here and I'm going to put this angle just here and we're going to have angle and I'll say that that angle is going to be 60 degrees. Let's just put this on in degrees. So we'll say that this is going to be 60 degrees. I'll say that this is going to be the radius and this right here is going to be now the length, the arc and we'll go from A to B. We know that the circumference of a circle from previous work is going to be 2 pi r. So if I wanted to find now the arc length, what we have here is 60 degrees of the 360 multiplied by now the circumference. That will give me the arc length. All this is is a portion of the 360. So 60 of 360 times 2 pi r. If we now think about this in radians, we established in the last video that 360 degrees was 2 pi radians. So if I look at this right here, what I can say is that this is going to be theta over 2 pi multiplied by the circumference of a circle, which is 2 pi r. We can see the 2 pi's cancel, giving us now the arc length is simply now theta multiplied by the radius. So that's where that really basic formula comes from. All we're doing is considering that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. We know that 360 degrees or the angles summed around this point are 2 pi. So we take theta over 2 pi multiplied by 2 pi r and that's what gives us this right here. So for example let's just put some numbers on here and see how easy this is. Let's say that the radius was going to be 10 centimetres and this arc length right here was going to be 14 centimetres and we wanted to find now the value of theta. Then all we would need to do in this particular case, let's go ahead and change that to white, we can simply plug into this formula right here. So 14 would be equal to the radius times by theta so we'd have 10 theta, so we could see that 14 over 10, which is 7 over 5, is equal to theta. So 1.4 radians would now be the size of the angle. Let's look at a nice straightforward one here. I'll, again, I'll draw a circle. We'll put now on a, uh, and we'll make this slightly bigger. Let's go ahead and put this like so. What we could do now, let's give this angle just here. Let's say that this is going to be, and we'll say that this is 2 pi by 3, 2 thirds pi, and this is going to be 4 centimetres. We could find this arc length just here, and remember, this is going to be the minor arc, so this length right here, which we could call L, that is simply going to be now the radius, which is 4, multiplied now by the size of the angle when the angle is measured in radians which is 2 pi by 3. So we can say now that this is going to be 8 pi by 3 and we could leave that as an exact value of course that would be in centimeters or we could give this to three significant figures as a decimal. So that's all we need to do. If I wanted, for example, on this right here, I wanted to find now the length of the major arc. Remember, the major arc is going to be the bigger one. Well, all we need to do is simply go ahead and consider this angle right here. 
So we know that angles around a point sum to 2 pi, or if you like, 6 pi by 3. So this angle right here would be 4 pi by 3. So to find now the major arc, we could say, and I'll just call this D for distance instead of L as we've got the length. The distance is going to be now 4 multiplied by 4 pi by 3. So we can see that that is going to be 16 pi by 3. And we've simply now got the major arc. Nice and straightforward, nice and logical. So let's go ahead and do some questions. If they won't always be presented as part of a circle, we might simply be given a sector. So we're asked to find the arc length for each sector, giving our answer to three significant figures. So we can say now that this arc length, and remember, we're looking now at the arc length. The arc length is from here, and I'll just call this A, to this point just here, which is B. So if we wanted to call this L, we could say now nice and straightforward with this. L is equal to R theta. So L is equal to 5. We've got 5 millimetres multiplied by 7 pi by 12. This is what we call an exact answer. So L is going to be 35 pi by 12. And we can go ahead and find that in the calculator. So 35 pi by 12. And we'll just put this in and give this to three significant figures. That's going to be 9.16. So we can say now this is going to be 9.16 millimetres. And that is now three significant figures. So that's the arc length. If we were asked for the perimeter of this particular sector, what we would do is simply add the radius twice. So with the perimeter, we would now go for this length right here, which is 5, this length right here, and then we would add the arc length. So we're not asked that in the question, but I'll do it anyway. So the perimeter of the sector is going to be 5 plus 5 plus the 9.16, which is going to give us on here now 19.6 millimetres. So that's the difference. This is the arc, and then we've got the perimeter. Okay, in B, we've got pi by 3 and 12, so we want now the arc length. So let's go ahead and look at that. So this point is going to be A, this is going to be B. The arc length is simply going to be this just here. So we can say on here, knowing what we know, L is going to be R theta, where theta is measured in radians. So L is going to be on here, that's the arc length. We're going to have 12 multiplied by pi by 3 that's going to give us now 12 over 3 is 4 so we're going to have 4 pi so let's give that to three significant figures 4 times by 3.15 and so on and so forth that's going to give 12.6 so we can say this is going to be 12.6 it's going to be centimeters and that is now three significant figures um, if you wanted to find now the uh, major arc, the part missing, then you could simply go ahead and work out the, the missing part of the angle. The angle sums to give 2 pi radians, so we'd take that away and then multiply it by the 12. Or you could subtract it from the circumference of a circle, 2 pi r. Entirely up to you. So that one, that's the arc length. Perimeter, you would just add 24. So perimeter would be 12 plus 12 plus the answer to arc length, and then we would work out that. So that's at 36.6. Okay, this one, we've got now 1.8 centimetres, and we've got this angle right here. We need the arc length. So if we consider what we're looking for, we're looking for the major arc. So we're going right the way around this, right the way around, right the way around, and something like that. So that's what we got just here. So this time we've got this angle of 17 pi by 11 and we got a radius of 1.8. So let's just write this up. L which is going to be this distance. L is going to be equal to r theta or L is going to be equal to the radius which is 1.8 multiplied now by the 17. So we got 17 pi by 11 and we can simply sub that in because we're looking now for 
the major arc. So 1.8, uh, 1.8 times by now uh, 17 pi, so 17 pi by 11, and that will give us that value. So that's going to be 8.74. So 8.74, and that will be centimeters, and that is to three significant figures. So nice and straightforward. Again, if we wanted the perimeter, we would add 1.8 twice. If we wanted this length right here, we could simply subtract that from 2 pi r, or we could go ahead and simply say that this angle right here, if we consider 2 pi is going to be 22 pi over 11, so this would be 5 pi over 11, and that would be the angle, the sum to 2 pi. Okay, this is question six. We're asked to find the value of feet in the diagram below given the radius of the sector is 9.4 kilometers and the arc length is 20.15 kilometers. So exactly the same, we're just working backwards. So L is equal to R theta. We've got the arc length of 20.15 is equal to the radius, which is 9.4 multiplied by the angle. So we can find this right here. So 20.15 and we divide this by 9.4 and that's going to give us on there 2.14. So 2.14 radians and that is correct to three significant figures. 3SF. If you're then asked to put it in degrees, remember if we want to go from radians to degrees, so we're going from radians to degrees, we multiply it now by 180 over pi, and that would give us that value. It's highly unlikely we'd be asked that. I'm just doing it uh, just for completeness, really. So 180 divided by pi, as we saw in the last video, and that will give us now the angle in degrees. So 1 22 so that would be uh 122.8 degrees again we weren't asked it i've just done it now uh for completeness so that is how to find the length of an arc when we've got an angle measured in radians we simply multiply the radius by the size of the angle